Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy Games. We're back in Scarlet Nexus, and ah, I, I don't know. <laughs> this story has been kind of chaotic for me. Um, I guess I can read the uh, synopsis here and uh, see where what we're up against. <laughs> um, what's happening here? So we already did all this, right? We grabbed some strings. Some weird stuff happened. Seto dies. Nagi betrays us for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll just continue off of here. Kasane groups uh, encounter Yuito's group surrounded by others as they try to help them. Both platoons are attacked by Karin. Asane is blown away during the battle and isolated. She has to find someone and regroup. So that was last video. Um, in the beginning of last... Or the... The beginning of last video, and then as last video continued, uh, our last video in the series, I guess, of Scarlet Nexus that I'm playing, of my uh, Let's Play. <laughs> After meeting up with Seto, Kasane sees Suo's NDF, National Defense Force. Troops turn a person into another. This leads her to believe that the new Himuka government is behind Naomi's metamorphosis. After saving Yuito and Nagi from the others, Kasane shares her thoughts with Yuito. Nagi suddenly goes mad and attacks them. So yeah, he attacks us. I don't know where. We don't know why. Seto shields the two and is killed. So our crush, our boy crush, our man crush, the w captain that has acknowledged us uh, as a character, uh, uh, acknowledges our expertise and our motivations uh, that we starting to have feelings for. Uh, Kasane trying to have, starting to have feelings for her. Seto, yeah, he dies just straight up. <laughs> as far as we know, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, the shock causes Kasane to lose control of her red strings power. So she has uh, actual new powers, which we originally thought was psychokinesis, being able to just pick things up with her mind. But really, she can control gravity. And because she can control gravity, she can control time. And uh, yeah, we time travel now. <laughs> she and Yuito are covered in scarlet threads and sent to an odd place. They see a scene of Yakumo. I don't know what Yakumo is. The nation's father, founding father, being killed. Oh yeah, Yakumo is the uh, original Sumeragi person. Uh, being killed. Kasane then hears the same woman's voice that always says, don't take your hands off the red strings in her dreams. And then, yeah, we came to a destroyed Suo City. But then it turns out we came to a destroyed Suo City in the year 2070, which uh, this game is apparently uh, originally happens in 2020, the year 2020. When Kasane wakes up, there is a giant gravitational anomaly. Mali in the sky. After rejoining with Kyoka, Arashi, and Shiden, she decides to return to Suo. When they return, chaos and destructions are spread throughout the city. As they try to access the situation, Karin appears carrying Fubuki's dead body. Apparently, Fubuki is uh, Arashi's older brother. So she's upset about that. We don't know why Fubuki's dead. We don't know if it's the same Fubuki and Karin of our time. Or if it's like the future, Fubuki and Karin. Keep in mind that they may not look old, but apparently they take like anti-aging uh, drugs so that they can continue to fight for the OSF. Uh, since they're like assets of the OSF and their mind and body needs to stay young and vital <laughs> in order to keep up with like using their powers. So, <laughs> So yeah, we don't know... Which universe is Karen? I'm assuming it is our 2020 Karen and Fubuki and not 2070 Karen and Fubuki. So I don't know if they'll ex ever explain that. <laughs> he activates his brain eater power, forcibly copies Kasane's red strings power and disappears. So now Karen can also manipulate uh, the red strings and gravitational forces. <laughs> and he books it and we run after him. Uh, as Kasane goes after Karin, she encounters a strange man fighting others, and a battle ensues. When she sees the baki he has on him, Kasane realizes that he might be Yuito and calls out to him. Just as she thought, the man is actually Yuito, 50 years in the future, and they are in Suo in the year 2070. Yuito tells Kasane that the pseudo-black hole they created, called the Kunad Gate, 
is destroying the world. So we're in, actually in a different world, a different dimension altogether, not just the future of our dimension. <laughs> he also tells her that her real power is in psychokinesis, but gravity kinesis, gravi, gravi kinesis. The time travel powers red strings, which allows her to control dimensions. Just then, the Kasane group, who can't control time, disappears suddenly, apparently being sent back to their original time. Afterwards, Yuito invites Kasane to come with him to the OSF headquarters. And that's where we are now. And uh, so far, let me just check if we have any upgrades real quick. Uh, we have four points. I can probably spend this somewhere. Do I want this? And perform more executive attacks. Hold Y to charge. Perform powerful weapon attack. I like that. I like that a lot. Hold right trigger on knockdown enemies to perform a psycho. Ah, yeah, I like this actually. This one I like better. Actually, what's this one? Defeating enemies with brain crush while sass is active. Slightly restores the gauge of sass being used. Hey, that's good too. So I can continue to use my, my friend's abilities if I uh, kill enemies with brain crush while using their abilities. Right now, I feel like I'm really underpowered. <laughs> For some reason. Oh! I guess this is a reason why I feel under power. It's because the difficulty setting I realized was set to hard. But at this point, I'm like, oh, I've been playing it on hard. It will be kind of a, <laughs> um, a dick move. Or not dick move, a pussy move. <laughs> to go down the difficulty now, right? <laughs> Since I've been playing it on hard for so long. So I'll continue um, trying to give myself more combat abilities. More than uh, just straight up resources. Because I think normally if I play this, I would probably not care about combat ability and try to get more resources as much as possible so I can unlock all the... or make the grind a bit less. <laughs> uh, since I can activate these things early and uh, let the let the rewards and uh, currency and materials flow in <laughs> faster at an earlier time. So later on, I don't have to grind as much. But since we're playing on hard, I think I will... Probably have to do this one. Very nice. All right, let's let's head let's head her. Yeah. Oh, these guys are kind of squishy. Okay. I've just been spamming healing items. I wish there was more like sustain in the combat. Like, oh, you heal when you critical hit, or you heal when you do a brain crush, or you heal when you um, perfect dodge or something. <laughs> There'll be more sustainability so I don't have to like constantly um, worry about my health and uh, getting like jellies and health jellies and stuff <laughs> but at the same time uh people can i guess argue that maybe i should just play better not get hit all the time then uh, i should be fine but i would argue that it seems like some enemy attacks is just like really hard to impossible to avoid like there's this one guy i was fighting that shoots water everywhere in the previous video and i have to really run to get out of the aoe and uh, a lot of times it hits me anyway or it grazes me anyway, and it's like kind of frustrating. <laughs> and uh, I don't feel like I have the ability to like really jump out of places yet. So maybe as the combat opens up more, as I level up more, I'll get more abilities to do to do the combat better. <laughs> but currently, yeah, it's been um kind of wish there was more sustain ability um in the combat to keep yourself alive, other than just spamming health items. <laughs> All right. What does this guy have for us? I know you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So he's been waiting for like 50 years? Oh man. This guy's devoted. So what happened? 50 years ago, after the Seiran Rebellion, 
New Himuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated, and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. The truth is that you jumped into the future. Mm. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. How nice to have such a nice, flat, even number 50 years ago, not like 44 years ago, 6 months and 24 days. <laughs> I spent my days taking down others and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. Uh oh. The Kunat Gate. The pseudo black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. Interesting. So, it seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. The more I play this, the more I'm curious as to what the if you played if you started the game as the dude character, as Yuito, how the story would progress. Would you meet like a future um Kasane instead at this point in the game or something? <laughs> Oh man, I, I'm. I think I've made a choice to just once I finish the Kasane part, I will for sure record myself uh, play the Yuito parts, even if the story is more or less the same, <laughs> or we hit a lot of the same beats, and it feels like I'm doing the game again. I feel like there's going to be enough difference that it'll be interesting to see his side of the story as well. Yeah. Because we had the same abilities. Our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. I hope. Um, Maybe it'll be a new game plus as well when I play the other side, so I don't have to re-unlock everything all over again. I think that would be a little annoying. <laughs> Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel, and then disappear immediately. What? But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Oh wow, we resonated. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Uh-oh. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. <gasps> if I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However... I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live, and now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do die. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. We're not high enough level to do that. I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumo. Or, we can just tell him not to... Tell him to... I don't know, <laughs> change his ways, and uh, we came from the future, and it actually, you're going down a terrible path. But I guess maybe he wouldn't even consider what we say, because he said his brother begged him to not play the role, right? <laughs> no, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years. 
All of it was for this moment. Is he a Jedi? Is that a lightsaber? Does it have a kyber crystal? What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. What? We still can't make them go away, though. Oh, so we gotta fight hordes and hordes of these guys? Others? I can't believe you do this! You're a poo-poo head. I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny. Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. Wait, what? W what? Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> the placement of the eyes and the two, like, faces on the other that is Naomi. <laughs> it's a little bit funny. I don't know why. My father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. What? Why? You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage. A false hero who killed the world. <gasps> so... He has a knife, even though he also has a huge sword. What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? Whose knife is that? Wait, what? What's happening? He has okay, a huge sword. Sonny. It's up to you now. Why does he... What? Oh, so he's dead now? What? <laughs> Well, that was easy. Why didn't he do that like 50 years ago? <laughs> or whenever he decided that he should die. Everyone's just dying around us. <laughs> We're Detective Conan. <gasps> We're doing it! We're doing it! We're activating our powers! Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh no! What have we done? Suo... I think this is real, but... Is it? Yeah, that bridge is completely gone in the future. <laughs> Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Okay. Kyuk and the others are already there. Hurry! Okay. Telepathic communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. She says she can't hear you, you silly Kasane. I guess she's saying it to confirm it herself. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo-black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. What do you mean similar? <laughs> it has all the properties of a black hole except for the fact that it bends all light around it or something. <laughs> it's probably created as a means to actively move through time. 
It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So you agreed to it? No, I came back before we reached a conclusion. He also hmm. offed himself. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. Okay, sounds good. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? What? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi, but it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? Got it. All right. Sunday story, stand by. Phase four. Okay, so we've reached the conclusion of this part. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. That was a future I didn't want to see. Damn, lots of has. I'll have them save real quick. <laughs> you seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. What an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. <laughs> Arashi is not too bad of a character so far. We can bond with them. It doesn't seem like there's any more stuff here. It seems like it's still the same. Oh, wait, nope, there's... Whatever this is. Someone has, like, a stash of pillows. Uh... Doesn't seem like there's anything new in here. There's some, uh, Arashi posters in here. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I think since uh, this is still kind of, um light into this. Let's do some of these bond missions and maybe then uh, once I finish these I'll end things and uh, we'll continue the story, the main story in the next one. But yeah, we'll just uh, do some side stuff for now and see how things go. Hey uh, Kyoka. That Yuito 50 years in the future was totally different from the Yuito now. She had such a stern and somber expression. A uh, bond episode. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh, I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. 
It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. She has a beast mode? I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. Yeah, I can, I'm gonna watch you while you nap. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. Yeah, it's auspicious. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's actually check that out. Um, Kyoka Eden. There are so many kinds of fortune telling. You said you weren't really interested in fortune telling, but I found a site that will read your fortune just by putting in your name. Let me tell you what is said when I put in your name, Kasane. You'll have medium luck today. You will learn something unexpected from a friend's past, and your bond will deepen. There are signs of bad footing, so be careful not to fall. That's what it says. That's what people say. Ooh, ooh. It's mostly right. I almost tripped back there, but that's just a coincidence, right? Eh, <laughs> I wonder. I can tell you more uh, about more good sites if you want. Okay. Um, a Harashi Spring. What do you think? Uh, the Zuo incident was that Yu Yu Toe 50 years in the future mentioned. My guess is that it's referring to the incident that encompasses the revolt Karin started. Although nothing has happened to Suo at this point in time. I imagine it included includes the appearance of the Kunat Gate, but I wouldn't know anything beyond that. Yes, that means there's a possibility that there something could have happened to Suo in the future. In any case, I have a bad feeling about it. Oh, we have a little uh, thing with uh, Gemma. I thought he... I thought he left with... Um, Aaron or something. Sorry for the sudden message. I want to give you something I got from Naomi. I'll be at Musubi's. Come if you want. Okay, let's do this one as well. <laughs> from Naomi? Okay, I'll meet you if, if it's that... If it's for that. I'm heading to Musubi's now. Musubi. You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. 
Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes, so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Eww. Can you believe that? That's such old technology, writing things on a piece of paper? Ugh. That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. And I got the gains from the protein in those recipes. Check out these biceps! I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody has more heard about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> He's like trying to show like he cares about you and wants to give you something that um, like your sister wrote and hopefully that would cheer you up that uh, to know that your sister has had like positive effects on people and you you just like freaking do this shit ah uh, you want to get rid of my sister's letter what's wrong with you <laughs> it's like oh my goodness what is wrong with you kasane hopefully her personality doesn't stay like this forever like every little interaction she just like gets a little bit better a little bit more thoughtful a little bit more caring a bit more compassionate or empathetic to people and stop just like saying like these really really like i don't know it's like one of those things that like jabs at people for no reason <laughs> it just like like accuses people it makes push put people in the defensive really for no reason <laughs> and uh i don't know it's very contentious of her to do this <laughs> no i didn't mean it like that it's just that i'm reminded of what happened to naomi every time i look at it i've been with the osf for a long time I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> if only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. Obtain okay, Naomi's handwritten memo. Oop. Ah, uh, we got another thing from Gemma Garrison. Sorry for the sudden message. I just want. Okay, now this is the continuation of that. Kasane, can I ask you something? What do you usually do in your free time? My free time? I train, I guess. Me too. I guess uh, you can't help me. My colleagues have been telling me that I need to find a hobby. I just don't like using my time for something unnecessary. Just forget I said anything. <laughs> okay. 
So will, if you played as the dude character, do you get like a completely different cast of characters to interact with then? Oh man, I'm really, like I'm more curious about like how the other side looks more than anything at the moment. <laughs> and I'm also like kind of confused as to what the story is like, going on about right now too. Uh, let's watch TV. See how they summarize what we said. We previously mentioned the independent deployment of National Defense Forces garrisoned in Seiran. The issue may go even further. In recent years, such acts have been noticed around Seiran and the public have voiced their concerns. Perhaps the government should take responsibility and investigate whether the military is still under a system of civilian control. Okay. It might be good to talk to Arashi. Arash. Well, thanks for uh, letting me know, uh, myself. Arash. Actually, did I actually gain any extra abilities or anything from our friends? Level 2. Increase sass, recovery speed, and uh, guardian vision. So I uh, did the, nothing here. Even though I gave him a gift, he doesn't level up. Oh, so they all can get guardian vision. I don't really know what that combo vision, assault vision. Prolonged sass effect, pyrokinesis activate, or psychokinesis, reacceleration, enhanced duplication. Interesting. I'm really interested to see how these things progress too. Yeah, we'll keep Arashi Springs in the party. It seems like there's no way to fight against those fast guys. Similar to how there's no way to fight against those cloak guys. Like the guys who are invisible without that other guy who can like detect cloak. Wait, no. The clairvoyant girl who can detect cloaked uh, people. <laughs> Let's talk to Arashi. The brain field Karin used at the Kunad Highway was a real pain. I never want to experience anything like that ever again. Uh, Bond episode. Hisane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Are you suggesting we uh, take a nap together? Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? <gasps> oh no. You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Uh, my sister gave me that. Uh... I need to keep it clean. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. That was fast. Hmm. Do we need to try it? What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. And it was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Yeah, get on oh, board. Yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I just... Thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Oh, do you want to rest together? Maybe we can snuggle up. You can be small, Spoon. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. 
There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. Hmm. What are they suggesting there? So she's she passed out? Oh no, she I thought she like started napping right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, let's talk to Shiden and see what he has to say. Hey Shiden. Time traveling powers? Ugh. What an incredible ability! Doesn't mean a thing if you can't control it, though. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, I guess, yeah, that's all I have for you for today. I'm just gonna quickly look at the map to see what they want from me. Wait, I can't actually go here? You cannot travel to Suo City Rujin Ward. Okay. I can go to all these other places. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for everybody today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope to see in the next one. We will continue the story in the next one. Uh, hopefully, there will be more revelations. I'm still very confused as to what's going on. Maybe uh, I'm just not paying close enough attention to what's being said. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like the story is pretty chaotic so far. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>